Election headquarters, close to 6 million Floridians have already cast a ballot during early voting. Historically, Democrats have outpaced Republicans ahead of Election Day. That is not the case this election cycle. News Channel 8's political reporter Ty Russell joins us in studio to explain why. Yeah, ahead of Election Day, the Trump campaign, along with Republicans, have been urging their supporters to vote early. And today, Bay Area Democrats are trying to close that statewide gap as they remain behind in early votes that have been cast. While in town and country, Congresswoman Kathy Castor spoke directly to Democrats before she dropped off her vote by mail ballot. The best thing to do is to go vote early now. As of this morning, statewide, 2.6 million Republicans have voted early compared to 1.9 million Democrats. Are you concerned about that? Wow, there are so many people, like me actually, <laughs> who still have their vote by mail ballot on their kitchen table. More than half a million Democrats in Florida have yet to return their vote by mail ballots. Uh, here in Hillsborough County, the vote by mail ballots arrived and we had two hurricanes. Evan Power is the chair of the Florida GOP. He explains why messaging has changed among Republicans. The Florida GOP, along with the Trump campaign, they're telling voters to vote early. So why is that? What we want to do is take the pressure off Election Day. A lot of things can go wrong on Election Day. So if people go out and vote early, they know that their vote is counted. They're in the bank for us, and we're able to turn out people that we need to turn out in low propensity numbers. Those are voters who don't turn out for every election. Political expert Stephen Neely believes there's more to the GOP's new messaging. I think there's a desire to not fall for, for what we call the red mirage um, again this time, which is that kind of sense that when, when the election day votes get counted, Republicans look stronger until the mail-in and, and early voting ballots get added in and then that lead kind of evaporates. Neely says his data also shows stress may be driving people to vote early. And I think a lot of people want to put this election behind them so that they can just kind of exhale and, and maybe relax a little bit. And the political expert says it's too early to read into the numbers. He says just because GOP turnout is higher so far, that doesn't mean this is a red wave for candidates. Now, coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, I'm asking if recent remarks from a speaker at Trump's New York City rally and from President Biden last night will impact early voting turnout. Hmm. A lot of uh, rhetoric going yes. on between yes. both sides. Yes, it is heated. Uh, but, the, but voting is, I voted today, and the line was about an hour. Mm -hmm. in, oh, my goodness. Tampa, yeah, just uh, for early voting. And, the, and they were saying that they had like maybe 2,000 today, 1,800 yesterday. So this is not a one day. Uh -huh. I think so if you're going to vote early or if you have to drop off your mail ballot, yeah. go and get to it. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Uh, thank you for get. voting, by the way. <laughs> Good Actually, man. My <laughs> thank you, Todd. Thank you, Todd. And be sure to watch News Channel 8 and NBC News for complete coverage on election night beginning at 7 p.m. from the presidential and national races to local and state results. It's all right here on your local election headquarters.